What up, Hyper Change? Welcome to another episode. Got my Tesla T on, so you know it's gonna be a good one. Today, I wanted to talk about the fact that Tesla is actually ahead of their original production schedule. Now, this is something the mainstream media will get you so amped up about Tesla's missing deliveries. They're always late, they're way behind, they don't know what they're doing, they can never hit a deadline. I'm sorry, that's bullshit. If you do your homework, you know that Tesla is actually well ahead of its original, and actually, which was originally crazy, production schedule. Just a quick video because this needs to get said. In 2014, when Tesla unveiled the Gigafactory, it came along with a goal of producing 500,000 vehicles by 2020. This is something that management has referenced a ton of times. You can go through, there was a clean technical article that just came out, is Tesla's Model 3 actually on original schedule that I'm gonna link to that does an incredible job of breaking down step by step, you know, when they said the Model 3 was supposed to be released, what the production guidelines were, and how Tesla is actually pretty much on track. Even in 2013, when it was first mentioned when they would start production, Elon Musk said, I'm really hoping 2016, but probably 2017. That is exactly when they started production. You know, four years ago, they were saying it was gonna start in 2017, it did. So that was on track too. But the most important part is this 500,000 units per year goal, which was set by 2020. As you can see by this Gigafactory handout that was done, you know, when they were launching the Gigafactory and starting to build it, it's the planned 2020 Tesla vehicle volume was 500,000 units. So what happened? Why is this goal moved up? What, what happened? Basically, after Tesla unveiled the Model 3 in March 2016, they had so many reservations, they got hundreds of thousands almost within days of announcing the vehicle that they were like, holy shit, we can do, we need to build way more than half a million cars. So Tesla on its Q1 earnings letter in May 2016, just a month or so after this, said it was moving up its production timeline from 500,000 vehicles a year from 2020 to 2018. Now, yes, you may be saying like, what? Well, Tesla's not gonna hit that, so who cares? Yes, they're definitely not not gonna make 500,000 cars by 2018, but I think it's so important to put in context. Even Elon Musk has said that they are still on track today to do a million cars by 2020. So Tesla, if you really take a step back, is actually on pace to do double what it originally expected. Still, Tesla will probably do way more than 500,000 cars in 2020. They're gonna crush their original goal that everybody thought was insane. Also, in this Gigafactory PDF, I think it's really interesting to note that the 2020 Gigafactory pack output, the max output, was supposed to be 50 gigawatt hours a year. Then Elon Musk, you know, a couple years later, according to this Electrek article, said that they could actually triple that original capacity to 150 gigawatts a year. So now I wanna take you guys to a real blast from the in 2012, I wrote an article for the value investing letter called Tesla, the apple of the auto, the apple of the auto world is ripe for the picking. It, this was when Tesla was at $29 per share. I was invested on behalf of my clients in Tesla Motors. I held it to, through on the massive short squeeze and did really, really well. And this was basically outlining my thesis. I'll put a link in the description so you can read the article. But the point I wanna highlight now is in 2012, my projections for Tesla vehicle deliveries, as you can see, in 2017, I projected there we're gonna sell 102,500 units. What did they actually sell? About 103,000. So Tesla was right online with my estimates that I made five years ago. So, you know, if you really have been doing your homework on the company and been following them, you know, they've actually been performing exactly to what my expectations are. And in fact, actually beating them. And I know you guys like charts, so I made a chart of this. So, you know, these are my original 2012 projections. These are what Tesla actually posted. And for 2018, I was projecting vehicle deliveries of 160,000 units. Tesla's actually even my, I still think they could do, you know, 250 to 300,000, but let's just say they only do 200,000 units this year. They would still be way above my estimates for production. So, you know, do I think Tesla is behind schedule? Do I think they're hurting? Do I think they should build more Model 3s faster? Yes, probably to all of those questions. But when you take a step back and you're a long-term investor like myself, who's investing for decades in this story, like Tesla has executed. They are growing. They produce record deliveries every single year. They're compounding revenue per share at an incredible rate, almost faster than anyone I've ever seen. My timeline and expectations for the company that I think long-term are usually beaten by Tesla. These near-term production struggles with Model are really just gonna be a blip in the road when it's all said and done. And the thesis of Tesla being the apple of the auto world and just taking over is still more true than ever. You know, these production blips in the Model 3 are mean nothing to that. The company is still well on track to hit its original goals when it started building the Gigafactory and in fact is ahead of them if they can build a million units by 2020. Anyway, this is HyperChange. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Like, do you guys know about this 2020 goal that was moved up? You know, I don't know. Anyway, let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.